Hi, I'm Dr. Marty Ross. In this video, learn how to handle chlamydia, mycoplasma, and chronic virus infections as part of your Lyme disease treatment. You don't always need to treat these infections. Treat Lyme is supported by purchases you make through Marty Ross MD supplements. So there are a group of infections that live in healthy people that don't cause problems. All right, those are Epstein-Barr, parvo parvovirus B19, um, Coxsackie viruses can be one of those, um, cytomegalovirus, human herpes virus type 6, human herpes virus type 8. Uh, now, those herpes are respiratory herpes, not sexual herpes, okay? There's also chlamydia and uh, mycoplasma bacteria that can live in healthy people too. And in fact, if you were to pull 100 healthy people off the street, we would probably find evidence in 10 to 20% of those healthy people of having elevated antibodies against those infections. And all that's happening is the immune system's dealing with it. It's co we cohabitate with them, they live in us, they don't cause us problems, our immune system keeps them under control, okay? So I know a number of my colleagues, when they're trying to figure out what's going on with somebody with Lyme disease, they test for Lyme, and they do antibody testing for these other infections, and then they think that they've got to deal with all of it, okay? And the issue is maybe not, and the, the, because it just maybe what they're picking up is germs that are living in you that your immune system isn't having any trouble with, okay? Now, even if those infections have gotten more active, it may be due to immune suppression, probably caused by Lyme. So in trying to, to, to deal with those problems, the first step would be to do things to, to get Lyme under control. Because if you can get Lyme under control, the immune system will start working better to put those other infections under control, okay? So what my approach always was when I was practicing, and it's what I also recommend on my Lyme information site, is that you go after, in terms of infections, the main ones you want to go after right away are too many yeast if you have them living in your intestines. And the reason is if you have too many yeast in your intestines, they trigger too many cytokines to be made. Those too many cytokines suppress your immune system and make you feel bad the same way Lyme does. Okay, so see if there's too many yeast. If you have uh, Bartonella, Babesia co-infections or Anaplasma co-infections or Ehrlichia co-infections, go after those right away as well too and go after your Lyme. Okay. If in about six to nine months in my practice, if somebody was not improving, then at that time, I might consider looking for the other infections that could be in them to see if they might be contributors, okay? But I would not look right away because even if I found them, my treatment was going to be to go after Lyme and yeast. That was what my treatment was going to be because those treatments often are enough to turn the immune system around so it will do what it's supposed to do, which is to put these kind of extra infections that live in healthy people and can even live in people with Lyme and not cause a problem back into check, okay? All right. So, um, Anyhow, yeah, let, let me just show you something here because I, I often get asked, what do I do next? Um, screen share here. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to look at, I guess the way I'll do that, I'll look at my treatment protocol. Okay. So this is the Ross Lyme support protocol. Again, I showed this to you earlier, but the key steps are all things that are designed to lower cytokines and get the immune system working better. Okay. So get sleep, be on a good diet. Lower cytokines with certain herbs, be on an adaptogen, hormones, etc. I'm just going to scale, scale all the way down here, okay? Take care of your yeast, treat your Lyme, treat your co-infections, okay? And then I have the last part of my protocol is part 14, special considerations, okay? And it's here where I say six months and beyond, if you are not getting better, start considering other problems. And you'll notice one of the things I have here is chronic viruses. I don't believe in going after them right away. And I don't even have any information here about mycoplasma and chlamydia because I really don't think they're a problem. <laughs> I know none of my colleagues do, but even if I'm wrong, one thing you should be aware of is the antibiotics, the antimicrobials that you would use to treat your Lyme, intracellular Lyme, Lyme that lives in cells, those antibiotics, those antimicrobials will also take care of chlamydia and mycoplasma. So if you're treating the Lyme infection for at least the bacteria chlamydia and mycoplasma, if they really are active, 
probably the things you're using to treat Lyme are taking care of those infections at the same time too, okay? All right.